Hey future data enthusiast, welcome back to Guide Coachings, the go-to channel for all things data driven. I'm your host Mozam Ali and today we are diving deep into the world of data transformation in Alteryx. Get ready for the insights that will turbocharge your data visualization game. In this tutorial, we are going to see two important aspects of Alteryx. How to share reports over email in Alteryx and how to schedule automated workflows in Alteryx. But before we embark on this knowledge journey, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Why? Because here we just don't analyze data, we transform it into actionable insights together. By subscribing, you are not just you are not just keeping up with the latest insights. You are joining a family passionate about leveraging data for success. Now, speaking of success, I have something truly exciting to share with you. Many of you have been asking for more immersive and learning experience, and guess what? Your wish is my command. I am thrilled to announce our exclusive three months online course for aspiring data analysts. Yep, you heard it right. In this comprehensive program, we will equip you with the skills needed to navigate the data landscape like a pro. From understanding the fundamentals to mastering advanced analytics techniques, we have got it all covered. First two demo classes are absolutely free. You can join the classes on Saturdays and Sundays between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you are serious about taking your data game to the next level, Check out the link in the description for more details and secure your spot today. Seats are limited and trust me, you don't want to miss this opportunity. See you in the classes. Alrighty then, let's get jump into today's topic. So in this tutorial, we are going to see about how to send reports over email. So in the previous tutorials, we have seen how to create reports. Now let's assume a situation where you want to create or end a report and you want to send it over an email. So you will create it, you will download it and then you will save it and then you will create an email and after that you will draft an email and then you send it over to somebody else and this is a repetitive manual process. So if you want to do it automatically, if you want to make a process like where you you create a report and you need to, you can send it automatically, we are going to see that but first of all we will see how you can incorporate your reports with your you know, email account from where you can send your reports over the email so here for that we have an email tool called email which is present into reportings okay so i'll go to reportings and you can create a simplest uh, you know uh, flow workflow so this is how a workflow is created and i have saved this workflow with the name of report designing okay now if i want to send this so what I will do, I will click over here. I will just, you know, drag this option of email and drop it over here. As I drop it over here, I will get certain list of the options available on my left side that is enabled. OK, I can use the data, use data uh, connection manager. I can get the SMTP server's name over here. So I'm using my Gmail. So that is why I'm using smtp.gmail.com and then I can give the port number as 465 then encryption I can select from SSL TLS okay use SMTP authentication so now if I'm using the SMTP authentication I am using my email address and I am giving the password over here once I give the password it will ask me for from to CC BCC subject and attachment so same like we are composing an email into our you know compose email section for sending an email we will be you know composing it we will be putting the sender name the receiver name the CC and the subject line so I have created this and I have added the subject line as sales report for guide coachings then if I want to attach any attachment I can do that as well and I, if I click on it, it will ask me for a specific file which I wanted to add. So from here we have created you know n number of files. So if we want to select any particular file, we can select click OK and then we can add it over here. Now after it, we can edit it, delete it. If we want to add some body text, we can do that as well. And here I have added that text over here. 
and once I execute it, it will be sent automatically. Okay, if I want to add certain, you know, if I want to add it in a format of a date, like it should show me the date on which date it is shared. So here in and in and out option, I have date date time now option. So I will drag it over here and drop it over here. Once I drop it over here. I, it will by default give me the English language and date format so I will select a date format from here and now it will directly show it but in reports it will not show because if you see it is showing me over here onto the screen but if I want to add it onto the onto the report I will go to reportings and then I will take the text to report a report text and then I'll drag it and drop it over here and then from here I will configure it so here create a new field I will give a name field name as text then attach uh, attach text to the existing field I will not you know disturb anything I will just go to text data over here and I will write sales report for now this available fields we have not seen into our previous tutorials but in this tutorial we are going to see how it works so as you have attached it with your date time now option it is going to give you a option of date time so this date time which you are seeing over here will be shown over here so i have attached it over here and it is giving me like this so if i want to browse it i can get the result it will load for some time and this is how it will going to give me okay this is the date time which is giving okay now I want to send it over an email so I will click we have already configured our email and when I we will click on run it will send the email to the destined username now most of the time you might be facing some issues or the way you know uh, for sending an email so what you can do basically you can uh, this is how the report the email is sent and this is the most of the time you will be getting the error for the configuration of login denied so you can downgrade your uh, alteryx version from 2023 to downgraded that could solve your purpose or either you can give the uh, less secure access to your gmail account and that will help you to no, uh, basically it's a toggle button less secure allow access to less secure apps so at that time you will get that uh, option and you can enable it and then after that this option will start working and you can send your reports uh, over email alrighty then so now the next topic for today is here we have one more option that is as image so if you want to you know add some image over here so i have dragged it over here and dropped it over here so this will take your image so you need to retrieve an image you need to give the image location so i have given this uh, you know sales report and i have clicked on open nothing i have done nothing over here i am just clicking on browse and i'm just you no know, showing it so it will show me the image this is how it will show me the image okay see this so this is how image works and you can you know check out the other options available here we also have a layout option visual layout and this layout so if you want to use this layout uh, with certain things so you need to go over here uh, into your joints and you need to use your multiple join and using this you can connect multiple joints and you can get the details out of it and then you will be using the browse option over here so this way you can get the details but uh, the most advised is visual layout so you you should be using visual layout it is more you know dynamic in nature and helps to create reports in a better way now moving on to our next topic for today is how to schedule workflow in Alteryx so let's assume we we have developed developed our you know workflow like this okay where we have a number of files where we have a huge data where we are you know joining it filtering it doing some calculations adding some calculated fields over there and then we are creating a report out of it now if what if the data is again changed so we need to do the whole process again so 
to avoid this type of situation we can we have two options that is the first one is you can you know cr create a uh what we call as a, a workflow you can schedule a workflow on timely basis when the data is changed it will be again executed the workflow by the latest data and it will give you the latest results okay and then again you can attach it with the email and then you can send it to all the stakeholders without your human intervention all the reports are taken all the data is taken all the reports are created and it will be distributed to the respective stakeholders on a specified time how it works we are going to see so if you you know go into the option here we have a schedule workflow if you click on that option it will give you schedule workflow so alteric server uh, authentication is required over here if your company is giving you the option to but if they are having the license for altic server option you can configure it using over here but if you are going to do it with your own machine uh, and you don't have a server so you, we can do it on our desktop as well so for that we will be going to this uh, location that is on the c folder where our altrix is installed we will going we will be going to user slash your name or the username and then app data this app data you might not be able to see so i have shown it how you can get it the you know app data so just put a slash and then type app data and then hit enter so you will get three folders out of that you need to select out the local one once you select the local one and you will you know browse through it you will get this option that is altrix engine cmd this is an executable file which you will click and you will copy the path okay you need to copy the path and you need to keep it on on your machine or like the way i have kept it over here you need to keep it i'll tell you how we are going to use now we have created this report we have saved it somewhere so how we will go we will do we will go over here we will go to recents one and we will you know copy this path of the file this file where it has been created okay so this is the file where we have created this so this is how we will go to properties and go to securities and then from here we will copy the report which we want to schedule for a timely basis so i have you know uh, taken the path the, taken the name of that particular uh, folder which i wanted to execute on a particular time okay then after that we will be selecting that particular you know uh, details of that cmd engine and then we are clicking okay now we will go uh, into the search bar and we will type for the task scheduler okay so we will go over here and we will type task task scheduler and we'll click on okay and then we will will wait for the to be opened then we will be clicking on create task okay this is how it will be opened and we will give a name to our task that is all tricks sample task okay we'll give the task and then we will go for the trigger we will create a trigger we will see it over here it will be easy for you to understand okay so we'll create a task we will click on trigger okay we are into the trigger section now so we will click on one time and we'll select the date time at which date and at which time we want to execute this workflow so we'll give the time we will give uh, the now you have four options also available uh, that is daily if you want to execute this schedule task or you can you want to schedule your workflow and you want to execute it on daily basis weekly basis monthly basis you can basically select these options and you can schedule it on on your expected uh, time then you will once the trigger is done then we will go to the action section and in the action section in the action section we will put the path which we have taken out so this path basically uh, where it is yeah this path we will be putting over here in the action part okay this is done so we will go to actions and then over here we'll click on new and then here we will put that path okay uh, this path 
this path we will copy and we will paste this path over here then we will go to add arguments and then in the argument section we will copy this argument file path and then we will paste it over here and then we'll click ok and yeah okay once that is done okay this is done we'll yeah once this is done we will click on ok and once uh, we we can see that guide coaching workflow which we have created is ready okay it will be executed at a basic uh, no designated time so this is where i have created okay this is my task which i have created workflow head coaching workflow okay this is execute this will execute at this particular time so this is how you can create a workflow you can use your altrix server as well to create a workflow and schedule your execution process and make it fully automated so that it will be without a any human intervention okay <clears throat> if you like the video please subscribe us and hit that bell icon so whenever we post a new video you get notified if you have any questions any queries or any doubts regarding the topic which we have covered today you can write me a comment and we will be discussing it into our next session that's all for today thank you